Hi, my name is Martha Emery and today we're going to be looking at adding text to your designs. From the manager screen I'm going to go up to the word, to the menu for editor and I'm going to left click on that. And wait a minute for a bird to catch up and here it is. I want to start out with a blank screen so I'm going to get rid of this. I'm just going to go up here to the blank file page and it's going to click on that. And you'll see I now have a nice clean screen. And then so from the file menu again, I'm going to go over here to where it says insert. And I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to scroll down to where it says text. And I'm going to click on that. And waiting. And I only have two alphabets but in this particular box here it's going to show you the alphabets that I have. So I'm going to click on the down arrow and you can see that I have an italic and I have a block. Some of the other parts of the screen are here. They call these objects. We would call them letters. Um, we have small case and uppercase and if you scroll down you're going to see some symbols and some numbers. Continuing down the screen we see there's a text box here. That's where you're going to type in the words that you want. And down here we have the connection type. Either we want floating stitches, which are jump stitches, which you can trim out in between the letters. Or you have floating stitches solid, which means there's going to be a line across the bottom of the letters that you can um, you can trim that off if you want to or you can leave it solid. And then running stitches again, they're the nearest point. And what that means is say you have a Y and a Z together. It's going to stop here for the Y and it'll come over here to the Z and connect it up in the shortest distance possible. And some machines have auto trimming, mine does not, so I don't have it checked. Down here we have a file folder and a save. You can, you can actually save the lettering that you're working on if you get interrupted. And if you want to recall it, it comes right here. Again, we have the normal Windows boxes. And up here we have three, four other options. The first one is it will display the entire alphabet onto your design. This will be good if you're trying to create a sampler. The next one is for multiple lines if you want to do a poem or if you want to do scripture or you want to put something in there that's going to be long this is where you do that. The next one is a calendar. It will print out a month or a year onto your design and the last one is a clock. Now I'm going to go up here to the tabs up at the front and I'm going to go to the next tab and that's properties and you'll see there's a pop-up box here and this tell you can do some different settings with this for your different letters. You can do a pattern and it will click on the different patterns that Embird has. Embird will also do automatically an overlay. If you don't want that, you can click it off here. It just makes your stitches look better. And down here you can do a global or individual settings. Global means it should pop up the whole thing in, in one whole design or the individual settings will do each individual letter by itself. And again over here we have the file folder and the save to save your work and the regular buttons from Windows. The last one I'm going to look at is the layout. This is the baseline here and you'll find that right down here baseline and right now it has a line. It will also go and do a circle it will do a wave. It will do a different wave. It will do a spiral. And another spiral. And a slash. And a backslash. And your letters will appear right on that edge. And that's why they call that a baseline. You can increase the spaces or decrease the spaces between letters. And it will show you the width and the height. It will, sh it will show you a start point for the lettering and you can move that around as you want. And this other button here, 
is to place on the other side. That means it will mirror image your letters. And that's the tabs, and that's the introduction to text. And then I'm going to go on and have you insert some numbers, some letters and numbers.